Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another magic discussion. And this time we're going to be talking about Custom Robo. And this is a game series that I love. And I wish I could see another iteration of this game. There was the the game that came out in Japan only for the N64. Then there was the GameCube game. And then there was the uh, DS game. I've only played the GameCube and the DS games. I've never played the original N64 game. Really would love to have the opportunity to play that one, but I've never actually played it. Um, but here's my, my thought process on this. Okay, there, there, I don't want this game to be set up in action orientation because it's not exactly conducive to mobile, at least not the way mobile would work out for this. But, but what could be done it's something very similar to a game that I really like, and it's called Martial Arts Brutality. Now, <clears throat> there, there's two standpoints that you get here. Um, you would have the robos, it's the robo itself that you have to put together. Like you, you still customize the parts to your robo, and your robo will give be given an overall rank based on the, the parts that you have. These parts change the possibility the probabilities of your your robo dodging a certain attack or landing an attack over the other robo but when you're in battle you'll be given cards and each card that you pick is an action that your robo will take and this is why i say it's very similar to martial arts brutality because you be uh playing and whatever card you choose goes against whatever card your opponent chooses so basically, as you're as the battle is going on, you are picking your you're picking your move and your opponent's picking their move. So if you're both trying to attack each other head on, the attacks either will cancel each other out if they're the same thing, or they are uh, same probability, or whoever has the better probability with that particular card will win. And each card has its own probability; they're not all the same. So. Say if your your card has a sixty percent success rate and your opponent has a card that has a sixty five percent success rate, they will beat you. It it doesn't matter how big the difference is. That's how it works. Um, <clears throat> but you don't know what they have and they don't know what you have. So that's how that works. And, and they could build a story mode around this, um, where you are playing in like a basic tournament against other robo players or whatever. And I mean, they, that's that's one one thing they could do, and then you could have online multiplayer. Like, and I think each deck should be around forty cards, so that gives you a good variety of different cards that you can use and different attacks. And your cards, the cards that are available to you, depend on what parts you have, because each part has its own set of cards that it works with. So you can. Uh, collect cards for the parts that you have and you can swap out cards for the parts that you have like some parts will use sim similar cards because they're similar parts they have the same function like a like a part that allows you to double jump will have a double jump card but it won't have an air dash card and and, and likewise like if you have a, a, a part that will give you like an air dash or a, an extended boost those cards won't be available to parts that don't do that like so like if you have a if you have a like a landmine type card like like part that'll drop landmines on the on the field you'll have a card for that but if you but missiles won't have that same card like and yes i know this sounds like a very complicated system and it is but it would also add to the strategy of the game it would make it a lot more fun and your robo is made up of like five parts so that's about eight cards per part so just again depending on what your setup is what uh what your robo's build is depends on what cards you get and whatever cards you get can be shuffled around depending on how you've built your robo so it, it gives a lot of strategy it gives you a lot of options and it makes the game extremely based on thought it, it makes it ex extremely based on your ability to think think out a battle and how well you can take down your opponent and afterwards after a battle is over which is a feature i loved for martial arts brutality and i need to get back into that game and do more of these 
Like, but you could watch the whole battle play itself out after you have, uh, after you've, um, sat through playing it instead of having the card prompt pop up every few minutes or every few seconds and then t trying to judge your attack based on your opponent or what they have done or what you think they may do. You go ahead and just watch the whole thing play itself out. And be like, that could lead to some really spectacular looking battles. And then be like, that for me is more than enough reason to see this make its way to mobile. And be like, and I think it would be a lot of fun. It would be interesting. And again, I could see people sitting down recording their matches and posting them over YouTube. I know I would. I would record a crap ton of these matches and be like, Ooh, I'm going to like ever like and I would and I would do it for the story mode as well as for play PVP battles. I would love to do that. And I think it would be a lot of fun to have that type of setup. And then they can throw in having, you know, like three or four people battles. And like and you can see how crazy something like that can get. I would I would have a lot of fun with that. I would, <laughs> I would have a crap ton of fun with that. I would enjoy the heck out of that. Um, and, I, and I know I'm not the only person that would enjoy that. I know I'm not. Wait, but <clears throat> I would say go ahead and put it out on mobile. Hell, if they get bold enough, throw out a PC version on Steam or, or good old games or uh, infamously uh, the Epic Games Store. <laughs> oh, gosh. People would get mad about that, but um, just put it, just put it out and let people play it. Like that would be my strategy for this, because I think that would be a good way to get attention for Custom Robo, and it could lead into having, you know, an actual game come out for the Switch, which I would love to have that happen, and have the Switch game be able to connect to the mobile game, and that way you could upload your, like you could move over your parts to the the Switch game. And you could start off with an advantage in the Switch game because you, you know, you had already played the mobile game and earned a bunch of parts. Hell, they could even make the parts identical between the games and just have the Switch version, the Switch game, be the action-oriented game with a completely different story and maybe a different set of characters, and then have the mobile game be to itself. It just all depends on what Nintendo would be willing to do. Like, but me, I think it would be awesome, and I would be looking forward to it happening. But I mean, I can't. I can gab on a lot more about this. Um, I could really run the, the gambit for this one. But honestly, that's it. I don't really need to talk more. So thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.